What's up guys, Spider Girl here. I have not been on a climb for I don't know how long now. Let's get on with it. Gorgeous vistas. I'm something of an adrenaline junkie myself. Nothing spikes the heart rate like a busted condom. <laughs> that Brit who's centimeters away from death is Imogen, AKA Spider Girl, and she spends all day pacing around on ledges. I think she may have been bitten by a radioactive pigeon. It's called rooftopping, which is a trendy name for trespassing. Her videos <laughs> let you experience a full on panic attack from the comfort of your toilet. We've all seen strung out maniacs dangling from buildings over in Russia, but Spider Girl is more interesting because she's a woman. Females typically stick to social climbing. Cam Newton wrote that joke. It takes skill to scale a building. It takes common sense not to. But I appreciate anyone willing to put themselves in harm's way to generate content for my show. That's why I flew Spider Girl to LA, where nobody hangs out on skyscrapers because they're downtown. And downtown's full of homeless drug addicts. For this week's Celebrity Profile. Hey, Daniel. <laughs> hey, Imodium. What are you doing up here? Oh, it's Imogen, and I climb buildings. What are you doing up here? I like to come up here when I'm thinking about killing myself. <laughs> Imogen? Yeah, Imogen. Are you named after a dragon? <laughs> no. <laughs> How old are you, may I ask? I'm 20. OK. What is your origin story? Um, so it was kind of my brother does like parkour and stuff. So he started doing the rooftopping stuff first and like took me with him a couple of times. You actually call it rooftopping? Rooftopping or urban exploration. Urban exploration. Where are you from? I'm from London. What about the chimney sweeps? Aren't they always up on top of your roofs <laughs> dancing over there? No. <laughs> no? That's not a thing? No. Oh. Nice reference. <laughs> That's all I had. How's Brexit going? Everything you'd hoped? Nothing's really changed yet. Were you disappointed? Um, I voted Remain, so. I voted for Hillary. Not a whole lot's changed here, except for everything. <laughs> now, had you ever heard of me before the phone call? <laughs> Not one bit. Man, you guys are missing out, because, oh, boy, does my comedy translate well. <laughs> are you trying to shatter the glass ceiling or just crawl around on top of it? <laughs> are you afraid of spiders? A little bit. <laughs> you don't like them? Spiders are creepy. Agreed. Now, have you ever gotten hurt? No, like just bruises, scratches. Do you have good balance? Not really. No. <laughs> How does that work out for you? So, yeah, I don't know. Like really clumsy, but. Have you ever tripped while you were up on top of a rooftop? <laughs> yeah, I have. You have? I was kind of like running across, and they have like these wires on uh -huh. the top, and I didn't see it, so I kind of just face blinded. But not off the edge? No, no, no. Never had any close calls on the edge? Not really, no. Can you do a pull up? I can't. You can't do a pull up. <laughs> That's what I want to hear when you're up on top of a, of a crane, is that you couldn't, if you did fall, do a single pull up <laughs> to save your life. <laughs> Who's filming you? Um, it's usually my boyfriend. Do you think that he's hoping for that ultimate video? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think he'd keep filming? Um, that thought has crossed my mind. I mean, I sure hope so. There's nothing worse than when something goes wrong and the cameraman shuts the camera off. Even if you drop it, let us hear the sounds. <laughs> that one where you kind of, kind of got caught. So, Marcus got seen flying the drone. Um, eventually, yeah, I don't know how I got out. I was still over the edge so that they couldn't see me, so they came up the stairs, but uh -huh. couldn't see me across. And only saw my boyfriend flying the drone. And then um, I kind of like snuck around to the side and like managed to get out. Would you take the elevator down? Yeah, <laughs> I just like walked out the front. <laughs> uh huh. That's like very Ocean's Eleven of you. Then he called you and said, "Hey, I got caught. You have to come back." Um, I've left. Why well, are you? Well, well, then yeah, I'll definitely come. So they were threatening to call the police. Say tough sh every man for himself. No, I couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, I think he was setting you up. I would have been like, ah, uh, wrong number. 
Is it illegal? Not exactly. I assume if it's like under construction, you're... Yeah, it's trespass, but it's not criminal. But you do this usually really late at night. Yeah, so the best time is like in the evenings between, I don't know, 11 and 3 a.m. in the morning. That's when all the drunks are out yeah. and the pedophiles. <laughs> do you guys say pedophiles or pedophiles? Pedophile. Pedophile. That sounds so much cuter. Isn't it weird that we gave them a cute name when, when they're just such animals? I, I don't know, it just sounds like such a cute little word. Do you have a death wish? <laughs> no. How would you kill yourself if that were on the table? I wouldn't. <laughs> well, of course you wouldn't. Well, I mean, everyone says that until you're faced with, like, a few bad days in a row. It only takes about four bad days in a row before the mind starts doing some twisted things. Yep. <laughs> I think about killing myself almost every day, like how I would do it, what I would do. Hmm. Do you ever, when you're standing up there, have to step back off the ledge because in your mind, you're telling yourself, just go ahead, just jump. I've never had that, but I've heard of people you, having that. That's me. Yeah. Like, I literally have to walk back, but I'm like, what am I doing? Your parents, do they encourage this behavior of yours? Not at all. They didn't used to know that I did it, and then they found out, and they weren't happy about it at all. I mean, I think it, it's right up there with finding out your child does pornography. <laughs> Let's go back to the death thing, because I don't know why it fascinates me. What if your boyfriend died filming you? Would you keep climbing, or would you stop? I would stop, but I don't even want to think about it. That's not what he would want. He would want you to keep climbing. I don't think so. Maybe like every year on the anniversary of his fall, you go back up there. <laughs> oh, this is getting exciting. This is romantic. Well, thanks for being a good listener, Imogen. You almost talked me down. Goodbye, cruel world. You're not going to jump, are you? Oh, no. That would be way too showboaty. I will be taking the girl's way out. Don't do this. All famous comedians die at 42. George Carlin, George Burns, George Lopez. My only regret is that I never saw an episode of The Wire. But these are just vitamins. <laughs> vitamins. We call them vitamins. It's vitamin B. It's good for my hairline. You know how hard it is to kill yourself with that stuff? I took three. That's 1,000% more than the recommended daily value. With no actual power, comes no real responsibility. I hope things work out for you, Daniel. In light of recent events, she might want to take a break from perching on top of buildings.